Post game with head coach Jim Penders. The Huskies lose 17 to 8 here in the second game of the series. Coach, uh, yeah, scored them 8 5 there from the fifth inning on. Is, is that what you look at, at least for some positives here for today? There were many positives. I mean, uh, it starts with the guys on the mound, and we did a t terrible job on the mound for the second day in a row. Um, you know, lead off walks again, hit batsmen, 15 freebies from the mound, including wild pitches um, and box, just not competing, you know, not competing well at all. I think every coach Max said all eight guys that have come in over the last two days have either walked a guy or hit a guy within the first three batters they've seen. And we're not, we're not that bad. I know we're not that bad. We can't be that bad or it's going to be a really long season. I, I, I know we're better than that. We've shown that we're better than that. But, hey, they're slumping a little bit. The, the hitters have to pick up the slack. You know, I mean, we had, we had the same number of hits as they did, but we could have been a hell of a lot better. You know, and um, you know, guys swinging at pitches that are that they, they we pretty much know they're coming. I mean, he, he wasn't making a secret. Their starter's really good, very effective. He did a heck of a job. Um, you know, we pretty much know we can sit on soft in that, from that first guy, uh, and we're swinging at it 57 feet. You know, changeups and know it's coming. So I, you know. Um, Colby had another, you know, not a good outing. I, you know, I think we picked something up in the last batter. We've been talking to him about tipping pitches in the preseason and uh, taking nothing away from New Orleans because we had some of their pitches and we couldn't do anything with them. Uh, they may have had a couple and, and they didn't miss them. Um, but they are very balanced. They are out competing us. They're out toughing us. They're out coaching us. Um, in every aspect of the game, we have to be simply better. And I'm not used to, you know, saying that, that we, we, we were out tough, but we are com we've been completely out tough the last two days. You've got Nick Krauth going tomorrow. He's been awesome for you. What do you want to see from him again tomorrow? Yeah, it can't all be on his shoulders, but I expect him to come. I know that he competes, you know, and he's focused and he's locked in in the huddle there. You know, we just have to be better with our process. I mean, we guys not running things out. You know, we've got – got to take guys out of games. i got to, you know, not, not just one guy, a couple guys. Um, we got guys, you know, in ready positions that are terrible. When we, you know, they put up a crooked number, we're not ready for the baseball to be hit, hit to us. A lot of process-oriented stuff that has to be cleaned up quickly. Um, you know, Paul Gazzo said it in the mound. One of those pitch, pitching changes early. He's like, we got to compete better, guys, and he's absolutely right. You know, we got to compete better, and that's from top to bottom. We win together, we lose together. I got to be better tomorrow. I haven't had these guys prepared. Um, and uh, we all have to, you know, we've all got to get better tomorrow together and come out of here hopefully with our heads held high. But I mean, there's nothing to be proud of right now. I mean, simply, uh, we're simply out competed the last two days. So, got to get better tomorrow. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Chris.